Today we dive deep into the refreshed Seiko Prospect's 1965 Diver series. Browsing through Seiko's portfolio searching for a dive watch can be quite a dizzying experience, as the brand does everything from very affordable to a bit more expensive and perhaps even pricey. The company offers everything you can imagine, and then some. The Seiko 5, the Sumo, the Samurai, the Tuna, the Turtle, the Monster, the Marine Master, the list goes on and on. But despite all this, the most relevant collection is without a doubt the Prospects Diver 1965 series, inspired by the iconic 62 Mas from 1965. This was to be Seiko's very first dive watch and one that carves out a genuine legacy for the brand. It was introduced as reference 6217-8000, but nicknamed the 62 Mas. The mass element of its nickname refers to automatic self-dater or Seikomatic self-dater. Regardless, the design was relatively simple and basically still holds up today. It had a sharply designed case with stout locks and a subtle curved profile. And over time, it pretty much became the benchmark for most of Seiko's future dive watches. The 62 Mas style has been recreated plenty of times since it made its grand return in 2017. A Seiko would introduce a whole range of 62 Mas inspired watches ranging in size, color and dial finishing. In 2020, the 62 Mas celebrated its 50th anniversary, which was celebrated with a very cool SLA-037 recreation and the SPB-143, 145 and 147 watches. These last three were basically more affordable alternatives, sharing the same design codes as the standalone limited edition. For instance, the SLA-037 came with a Grand Seiko-based high-beat 8L55 movement over the 6R35 found in the other three. Now, on to the latest 62 Mas editions to join the ranks, the SPB-451, SPB-453 and SPB-455. And what's important to note is the fact that these include a pretty much complete redesign of what we know and love. Not to worry though, as it's more evolution than revolution. For starters, Seiko has marginally reduced the size of the case, shaving it down from 40.5mm in width and 13.2mm in height to 40mm and 13mm. And furthermore, the lock-to-lock -lock distance drops to 46.4, making these editions of the Prospect's 1965 Diver some of the most wearable ones to date. The design of the case has been pretty much retained, yet it now has a higher water resistance. This is increased from an already adequate 200m to 300m, bringing it on par with some of the most popular dive watches out there. Another element that separates it from previous editions is the crown. This is now slightly recessed into the case, which is a very nice touch. And color-wise, we have a choice between deep blue for the SPB451, classical black for the SPB453, and charcoal and gilt for the special edition SPB455. Now, each dial has been retouched as well, and one of the key points is the repositioning of the date. And I know it always sparks debate, but moving into 430, color matching into the dial and aligning it horizontally just works. The markers and hands all have Lumi Bright inserts, of course, and come in polished steel for the black and blue dials or gold colored for the charcoal dial. And Seiko hasn't kept themselves to work on the exterior only, as the movement is upgraded too. For the first time ever in the Prospects range, the 6R55 caliber is used. This has a slightly longer power reserve over the outgoing 6R35, which ups it from 70 to 72 hours. A small step, but for the better. Strapping the Seiko Prospects 1965 Diver SPB 451, 453 or 455 to the wrist is a breeze. The redesigned stainless steel bracelet is very comfortable thanks to its shorter links, and the smaller clasp also helps greatly, which of course still comes with the integrated diver's extension. And you'll be happy to learn it rattles a lot less than other Seiko bracelets tend to do. Now, as these three are just hitting stores now, it are watches you can actually go out and buy. The price is set at 1,400 euros for the blue and black SPB 451 and 453. The non-limited but special edition SPB 455, however, is slightly more expensive at 1,600 euros. And for this premium, you get an additional braided NATO-style strap made entirely of recycled plastic bottles, apart from the hardware, of course. And finally, adding a personal load, I believe these watches have evolved for the better. As I mentioned, the date will be a topic of discussion for sure, especially among Seiko purists. 
Nevertheless, this new dial layout makes the watches ISO 6425 compliant, which is a good thing. The upgrades in mechanics and water resistance also improve the appeal of these watches. So in the end, I think anyone who's looking for a good, historically relevant and comfortable dive watch should really consider one of these. Would you agree with me? Leave your comments down below and I'll happily read what you think of these watches. And thanks for watching Monochrome as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to not miss future videos. And I'll see you in the next one.